When the Chicago Wolves recalled Willie Huso from the ECHL's Missouri Mavericks, the Wolves roster saw its goaltending duo become a trio. There's three of us here now, so we're all battling for ice time. And uh, I mean, personally, I, I felt good. I'm trying to stay consistent. I'm working on consistency with my game, and so that's where I'm at personally. And, and then as a team, obviously, we're all trying to. Uh, I mean, lately we've been winning a lot, so that's that's great. So yeah, we're just trying to each get our share of ice time, and so it makes it kind of a battle. I mean, we're all good friends, uh, Billy and Benner and I, and we're all, we all get along well, so uh, there's no hard feelings, but we know we have to battle with each other to get that ice time, so that's what we're doing. You know, it's it, we'd like to find a guy that um, consistently plays all the time, I think, you know. Um, I think it's always um, nice to have the go-to guy. It's very difficult to play every fourth game, every fifth game. It's tougher on a guy to come in and play, you know, two, three games, four games a month maybe, because you put so much pressure on yourself to perform. For Bennington, it has meant more than a month without a start in net for the Wolves. It's been different. Uh, I haven't had a start since uh, before Christmas. I think against Rockford, we lost 4-3 uh, in the shootout. And um, it was kind of new to me at the start, but I, I quickly realized that you can't feel sorry for yourself. and. Right now I'm the odd man out, so uh, it's just a matter of me uh, pushing myself in my own time and um, doing that extra work that uh, the guys who are playing games don't really have to. Um, I, I had a couple uh, good phone calls with some good people and they were kind of uh, mentors or whatever you want to call them. And um, they said just let it kind of create fire underneath you and um, you know, remember uh, when you were playing well the times in the past and um, what made you play well and I think I've been really working at that and um, I'm feeling good in practice so um, I'm just kind of patiently waiting kinda for another opportunity. An emotionally charged appearance in Rockford was the last time Jordan played a game for Chicago. Um, it was kind of uh, a lot of built up emotion and uh, I kind of, you know, there's always the, the competition or uh, friend, not friendly competition with Rockford. It, it gets uh, gets a little feisty sometimes and um, you know uh, that was the second game and out of three where uh, I got put in halfway through the game and uh, it didn't go my way. I um, let in a couple goals so I was pretty frustrated and I told myself uh, you know we had another five on three I think for two minutes and I said if, we, if I kill this uh, and someone cross my path kind of just get some anger out and show some emotion you know show that I care and um, that's what happened. Uh, it got in a little altercation with uh, Labrie and a um, little suspension time to rest. It didn't work out too well for me, but um, here we are now. There's no point on dwelling on it and uh, just back to work. His future in net for the Wolves remains undecided, but Bennington has a positive outlook and is determined to focus on honing his skill set in the crease. It's a bit of a different scenario for me, but I think uh, I've been handling it well as of late. And, um, there's no time to feel sorry for yourself, you know, it's a competitive sport. Um, it's a bunch of alpha males in, in one dressing room and you got to survive. So right now uh, it's not, not going my way, but hopefully if I uh, keep working, um, I'll get back in the net, whether it's here or somewhere else. According to one of the other two Wolves netminders, the added pressure serves to make all three goaltenders better. When you look at it, I mean, if you look at it that way, there can be because uh, you got to play well to stay in there, but uh, it's really no different than when there's two goalies because I mean, regardless, you, you've got to do well to stay in there. So um, in, in ways there is, but uh, I mean, in other ways, it's, it's a positive because it pushes us and uh, it makes us better goalies in the end of the day. As for Huso, after an adjustment period in Missouri, he's feeling confident about playing a different game than the one he grew up with in Europe. I went to Mavericks and it was a good time there, get more experience. Like, a lot of games, like, so different play here than uh, Finland, so... Like, here everybody shoots the puck, like, so different angles, so it's, you have to be all the time, like, ready, ready for the shots, and, and then, uh, like, a lot of, like, shots from the blue lines, a lot of traffic in front of the net, and that's, like, the two biggest thing, like, what's the difference in Finland. HL All-Star Kenny Agostino is confident playing in front of any one of the three Wolves netminders and believes they all have contributed to the team's success as of late. Right now we have three goalies up here that are all tremendous goalies and all can play and uh, I think it's a tribute to them and a credit to them for how well they've been able to handle. It's not easy, you know, in pro hockey or in any team having three goalies and 
it seems like they've all had great attitudes and you know they're all competitive and, and obviously everyone wants to be that goalie in the net but you know I'm confident when it, any of those three are in the net I'm confident with who we have in that. On Friday Phoenix Copley was called up to the St. Louis Blues. Ahead of this weekend's games Binnington will be back in the Chicago Wolves lineup.